The double entry system means that there are two sides to every economic event. For example, if you purchase a vehicle, the one side would be you have a new vehicle and the other side of this event would be you have less cash or have raised a loan to finance the vehicle. Focusing on the vehicle, we know there is an increase in vehicles, which is an asset, and which when we speak accounting is a debit to the vehicle's asset account, because assets increase on the debit side. At this stage, you however also know that expenses increase on the debit side as well. So, for example, if you pay to service the vehicle, that maintenance expense would increase. In accounting, we would say the debit, the maintenance expense. In these two examples, your logic and common sense is happy to accept that the vehicle is an asset and the maintenance accounts as an expense. To help you make this decision though, accountants have agreed on a generally accepted definition of an asset. An asset is a present economic resource controlled by the entity as a result of past events. An economic resource is a right that has the potential to produce economic benefits. The entity has the right to use the vehicle, for example, for deliveries, and this will result in future economic benefits from any delivery charges received from customers and indirectly from the sale of the goods delivered. The entity has control of the vehicle and can instruct the driver when and where to deliver. The right to future economic benefits and control of the vehicle was achieved by purchasing the vehicle as the past event. In contrast, maintaining the vehicle does not produce future economic benefits per se. At best, it maintains the vehicle's ability to generate future economic benefits. But in and of itself, the maintenance cost represents an expense. We'll discuss this later in more detail. Economic events are not always black and white. Let's consider a professional sportsman that plays for a club. This person's playing services was acquired from another club. Let's analyze this event from the point of view of the club that acquired the sportsman's services. The two sides of this economic event are the acquisition of the player's services and the other side is a reduction in cash. In accounting terms, we credit our cash assets and now to keep the system in balance, we need to debit an account. What is this account we debit? Would the acquisition of the player's services be an asset or an expense? The player's service acquired by the club represents an economic resource as the right to the player's service has potential to produce prize money for the club by winning tournaments and to generate ticket sales from fans wanting to watch the player. The contract with the player will stipulate that the player is to play for the club whenever selected by the manager, suggesting the club may have control of the economic resource of the player's services. However, is a human being that has free will ever controlled? The player may breach the contract or terminate the contract. The past event in this instance would be the acquisition of the player's services by the club. The payment to the other club may in this instance therefore not represent an asset for the player's new club because of that uncertainty surrounding the control element of the definition of an asset.